Welcome to Good Vibes! I'm Amy Potter and I'm here to give you your weekly dose of gaming good vibes. This week I want to talk to you about mindfulness, which might not be something that you're super used to hearing in the world of games, but bear with me. Mindfulness is something that's actually made a huge impact on my life in terms of dealing with generalized anxiety and keeping my thoughts and stresses under control. And so when I stumbled across a post about mindfulness and Overwatch on Reddit, I was instantly intrigued. I will link to the specific video down below, but basically it was a guided meditation exercise by life coach slash therapist Sam Greenblatt. And so like most mindfulness practices, it tries to get you to relax and really clear your mind and begin to concentrate only on what's happening in the world immediately around you. So mindfulness as a whole does wonders for racing a calming mind and that coupled with gaming is quite a, uh, wait for it, game changer. So I dug a little deeper on this uh, guided meditation that I found and I saw that Nicole Carpenter of Dot Esports actually tried this exercise out and wrote about her experience. So I will also post her piece of work below so you can read that. And I thought it was really cool in her article she made a reference that mindfulness is a bit like learning to drive a car. The first time you do it, everything is difficult and overwhelming and it's a bit like when you first try and meditate, you can't just expect your mind to go completely clear the very first time you try it because, sorry if I didn't say already, all mindfulness really is, is a form of meditation. I personally do love to play a lot of calming games in themselves, like The Sims or Stardew Valley or City Skylines. That's probably a whole separate post in itself. And so while I don't find those games to be very stressful, there are types of games that I do like to play which can be more stressful, like shooters. And games like Overwatch and Fortnite definitely fall into that camp for me. And so depending on my frame of mind or my mood, those types of games can actually be really fun or they can kind of bring into my mind really unwelcome stress and anxiety. But the good news is through learning to clear your mind, you can rewire that concentration and actually train your brain to think more clearly and concisely. You can let the negativity and self-criticism pass by you and focus on relaxing your body and calming your mind. So while I was reading all this, I dug a little bit deeper and there was quite a bit of media last year about the Immortals esports team and their use of mindfulness in their training. And pretty much all the players on that team spoke out about mindfulness and the impact it had on specifically calming their nerves before a game. And it's not just esports of course, I recall an article by the president of the New York Knicks and him talking about how he encourages all his players to meditate and take time to self-reflect as part of their learning and de-stressing process. So some people may have clicked on this video thinking, Amy, is mindfulness going to make me a pro esports player? And I'm sorry, but the answer is no, it's definitely not. Nothing can replace the hours of hard work and training that go in. Uh, but also if you're thinking about it like that, um, you probably missed the point. I know that personally for me, mindfulness greatly improves just about every experience that I have and when I don't do it I notice a real difference and I can absolutely see how that would extend to gaming and competitive gaming as a whole. Because why wouldn't you want to feel happier and healthier while playing? It's so important to stop, take time, relax and be present in general but if you can do that through an Overwatch mindfulness exercise then I am all about it. So yeah, I'd encourage you to read through a couple of the links that I've posted below if this is at all of any interest to you. And I also thought I would give a quick shout out to the Headspace app, which is a tool I have used for guided mindfulness for a wee while now, and you can find it on the App Store if it's something that you're interested in. Not sponsored, I just think it's really great. Thank you for joining me for Good Vibes this week. If you liked this video, please give it a little thumbs up. And if you're new around here, then make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss a dose of the gaming good vibes next week. See you then. I thought I would get it, give it, get it, give it, give it, give it, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of. And like most mindfulness exercises, it basically guides your mind. That's not what it does at all.